All right, guys, we got something really great in store for you today. Gum out direct injection intake valve and port cleaner with PEA technology. So is this stuff going to work? Well, we got something really cool for you guys to see today. So let's go ahead and take a quick sneak peek. Okay, guys, here's some gunked up intake valves. Now, do you want your valves to look like this? Well, let me show you what was inside this oil catch can that I installed. This car definitely hadn't been taken care of. Guys, are you ready to get wrenching with Nate's Interactive Auto? There's been 3,000 miles since this was last emptied, so I'm ready to see just how much we've accumulated in a 3,000 mile time period. So we're definitely going to find out right here. Does this stuff accumulate fast? This engine really doesn't have that many miles on it. 90,000. As you can see, this is definitely a direct injection engine. So you want to make sure and stay tuned if you want to save your engine. All the cars are going to these nowadays. Well, if you decide not to clean the intake valves, just keep in mind the carbon buildup is only going to add up and it can only hold so much on that intake valve it's going to break loose regardless oh wow look at that stuff it almost looks like water you can definitely tell there's a lot of dilution in here from the fuel and just imagine that would have been on the intake valves that's definitely not a good thing 3,000 miles well you can definitely see that's quite a bit and look at that substance it's very thin very very thin so see just how much this stuff we have in here wow guys let's look at that there's quite a bit in here amazing okay guys i'm really excited to show you just how well this is going to turn out plus there's a couple special prizes in store we might actually have one that works also just something a little extra for you guys something crazy happened okay pretty much like crc it claims to go ahead warm your engine up locate throttle spray past mass airflow raise your rpms up 15 to 2000 spray in short bursts now let's go ahead and move on jumping that rpm up All right, guys, next we're going to be checking the sound. Go ahead, start your vehicle. As you guys can see, there's an electronic seat, so I just put a little post between the seat and the pedal. Next step, after raising the RPM. Now we have the RPM just above 2,000. Let's move on. Go ahead and move the intake air box. Remember to spray past your mass airflow sensor. This car does not have a mass airflow. Next, you want to start spraying in short bursts. The only reason I have the straw outside of the intake boot is so that you guys can see it. You want to continue spraying until the can is completely empty. Once the can's empty, you want to take it for a spin on the highway for about 10 minutes. After you've let it sit for about one hour, allowing it to heat soak. You want to do this about every 15,000 miles to 30,000 miles depending on how warm your engine is. As you've seen, all the gunk that would have been on the intake valves, but unfortunately, this engine wasn't cared for. I wasn't the only owner. We're gonna find out what the best direct injection cleaner really is. And you may have a really good idea by the end of this video. 
you'll be surprised at what you're going to see. Guys, as you can see, we're using the decimal meter, and we're going to use every tool we can possibly use to check this chemical out and see really does it make a difference. Make sure you stick around to see the special surprise I got in store for you. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This way, you're definitely going to get to see your video ideas come to life. All you have to do is comment below to see your video ideas come to life. So, like I said, that's all you got to do. Subscribe and comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Well, are we getting any smoke? Let's check that situation out. All right, guys, we're not getting any smoke but we're gonna come back and check it in just a little bit. Okay, I wanted to show you the temperature before using the chemical. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, can you see a difference on the decimal meter? Well, I can definitely see something. So make sure you drop a line in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Make sure to hang around just another moment and see what special surprise I have coming up. Continue spraying till your can is completely empty. So if you want to have your straw all the way up in the boot, just as I have this one now. Whoa, guys, what's that? We definitely got some smoke now. My goodness. Look at this big smoke cloud. This is unbelievable. Look at that. Definitely a huge smoke cloud. Definitely. Well, you can see it's trying to rain and snow. We got to go ahead and try to finish this test up as quick as possible. Take a look. Wow, the temperature's definitely increased. It's still increasing just a little more after using the chemical. Same RPM. Let's go ahead and move on. You guys ain't believing what's coming up. Let's go ahead and take a look at these intake valves. You can definitely see there's a lot of build up. Here's the first observable valve. Here we are at the second observable valve. We're going to continue on with our highway drive. Then I'm going to show you something really cool. and. Did this stuff actually work? You ain't gonna believe it. All right, here we are at the third observable valve. Make sure you let me know what you think. I'm definitely gonna leave a link in the description below letting you know more information about this product. Also, where you can find it. So make sure you check out my CRC versus Seafoam video as well. And you're gonna find out which is the best. I can assure you that. Here we are at the fourth observable valve.
All right, next, you wanna make sure you got your clips on good. You got your breather box back on. As I said, allow it to heat soak for one hour. Next, you wanna take it on the highway for a quick spin, roughly 10 minutes or so. All right guys, make sure you check out the description below on where to get more information about this product. Also, if you wanna take a look at your valves, you can grab you guys a bore scope. No special tools needed. These guys are pretty inexpensive. Now, let's go ahead inside this engine and take a look at these valves. All right guys, here we have it, valve number one. Well, can you guys see a difference? I told you I definitely had a surprise in store for you and you're gonna see what's coming up. All right, here we are at valve number two. And I even went a step further. Guys, I've been doing this for quite some time now. And I've not had a lot of luck with many products. It's just two or three. And I've waited for quite some time. Let's move on to valve number three. I've been waiting for some time, as I said. Once I've done this test, continued on driving the vehicle just to see how things turned out. Because I definitely wanted to know did this hurt the vehicle? Did it hurt the catalytic converter? Well, it definitely didn't hurt mine. And as I said before, I've been doing these tests for quite some time. Let's move on to the fourth observable valve. All right, here we are at the fourth observable valve. Guys, you saw the catch can earlier. Now, you're looking at the intake valves after using this cleaner. Go through, watch the videos, see all the cleaners that I use, see the results, see which ones actually work, which ones don't work and also a video that I recommend Seafoam versus CRC another video I also recommend guys make sure you check out the video Seafoam with proof where I take the head of an engine off and we measure the carbon buildup before and after so as always I want to thank you guys for watching and make sure to let me know, comment, tell me what you want to see next and I'll do the test exactly how you want the test done. So see you guys next time.